Hello everyone. Today I would like to discuss certain natural phenomena which we will understand with the help of our knowledge till now what we learned. So just recall about refraction. What is refraction? When light travels one medium to another medium. So it's bend towards to the normal or away from the normal. So here it you can take so it's the air medium and, and this is glass medium. So when light is entering from the air to glass, if we can draw normal, so it is bending towards to the normal. So it is air is a rarer medium. So like that when it's coming from a denser to rarer medium it is bending away from the normal so this is known as refraction other than the glass if you see the lens lens also refract light so that's the reason main use of the lens convex and concave so convex lens is a converging lens after passing through the lens so the light rays are converging so it is also due to because of refraction similarly for the concave but today we won't see this kind in lenses or a glass lab or prism but we will understand such in phenomena which will happening in the nature so let us observe this picture very carefully so this is something we need to understand with deeper knowledge so if we can say this this is my underwater object any stone or chest which is hidden chest which is kept underwater it is kept under water suppose if we are looking that object so if you if you want to see any object the light has to come from the object so from the outside light is falling on the object on the chest and from that chest light is coming back reflecting and when it comes to us so here myself it is observer so if we look this chest what is really happening that the position of the chest will changes suppose this is the original position and but it appears to be at here so why it is like that why the position of the object under water has changes what could be the reason so that reason here you can understand that is due to because of refraction how it works suppose if you see carefully at here now when light is traveling from air this is the air medium and sorry this is water medium sorry so this medium is water so this is water medium denser than the outside so which is is it is air medium now what is happening at here when light is coming from denser to rarer water to air so here if you can see it is bending away from the normal if you can draw normal at here so the red line is bending away from the normal and one more line there if you can notice that line is also bending away from the normal so these two arrow marks they are bending away from the normal so because of that 
situation bending away from the normal Th those light rays are appears to come from here they are appears to come from there so here this the dashed lines so the dashed lines at here is the appears to come from it means we feel that this underwater object position is not at here so it is at here so this is due to because of refraction that's the reason when light is traveling from denser to rarer medium it is bent so that is property of refraction now here if we calculate certain distances at here suppose if you can see this is the the actual depth of the chest means the original position where the chest is located and here it is this is the apparent position apparent means which is not original but it appears to be there so that's the reason it is called as apparent depth so finally i can say that whenever we can see the underground objects which are kept under the water not underground underwater objects the objects which kept under water so due to because of refraction due to because of refraction those objects are appears to be change the position so this apparent depth is happening due to because of refraction so finally i can give a definition at here apparent depth apparent depth is the depth that an object appears to be it is appears due to the refraction of light in the transparent medium here is water is the transparent medium so likely if you can observe the next picture so the location of the fish suppose if you want to catch a fish under water so always will fail until unless if you are do not know this technique because the fish appears to be just above its original position so whenever we want to catch fish under water we should keep it mind what we are seeing that is not the exact position of the fish it is below that position what we are seeing that is the apparent position so that is due to because of refraction so finally i can conclude at here apparent depth when looking at an object in water it is apparent depth that gives the optical illusion so i can say that as optical illusion so you know the what is the meaning of optical illusion that the object is closer to the surface than it is truly present so these things happens by keeping in mind so whenever you are entering in unknown depth in the water locations or especially stagnated water where the there is no flow of water water remains there itself only so if you enter there without knowing depth we always will be in trouble whenever you are entering into unknown depth location of the water you must be careful because we by saying that we feel that it, it do not have much depth because we can able to locate that bottom surface but due to because of this refraction what we are seeing that is not the true location of the surface it is always will be down so when we are entering in the especially unknown depth locations of water 
we must be careful more because what we are seeing that is not true yet here i want to give one more formula so if we can take here we calculate refractive index so many cases refractive index c mu equal to c upon v refractive index mu equal to sin i upon sin r now here for this special case we are having refractive index formula refractive index mu equal to real depth upon apparent depth so if you divide these two real depth and apparent depth we will get a constant so that constant also gives the refractive index value for that medium so but this concept is not present for us but to give a knowledge i was discussing at here so this is all about apparent depth so due to because of refraction let us see one more so if you closely observe this picture you are able to see i think this water like surface at here so this is water like but not original it water it's not at all water but it appears just like water so this kind of situations we face especially in the hot summer season very hot summer season so these kind of things will forms especially in the desert tunnel in the hot summer on the roads so what is what is this so this is nothing but the reflection of these vehicles and the reflection of all this nature so they are the certain kind of the reflections and it has a name so that is known as mirage so if we can write that at here it's known as mirage so what is mirage how it forms why we are why we need to understand it here so mirage is nothing but just it's an illusion optical illusion just like water on the road so if you can see what we can call mirage mirages of the sky mirages of the sky look like patches of water but even when trees or distant hills are being miraged the impression of water reflection so this is the impression of the impression of the water reflection can be very striking so this is the ones now how it forms what could be the reason to form that ones so it is also forms due to because of the refraction if you can take that as i can give a detailed explanation how it happens a mirage can appear when light is traveling from cool air into warmer air suppose if this is the coming picture now here you can see situation is like this so this is a hot summer season very hot summer season now what happens due to because of the hot summer so due, due to because of the light the surface of the road it will becomes hot and we know that the air which is present just above on the road that is also becomes hot so likely if i divide just above the road atmosphere into different layers so this is layer 1 and this is above layer 2 and this is above layer 3 so this is road and next one is a hot air 
and just like that above above you can divide and go and we divide that in terms of different layers so the bottom layer the bottom layer which is present at here so that becomes very hot so this layer on the road it becomes very hot and the layer just above that and it becomes less hot so likely if we can go from the down to top temperature value decreases temperature decreases so when the temperature decreases here we need to understand about density density of air so if you recall when the temperature increases what happens the density of air the density of air will be decreases there is a property of gases cool air is more denser than hot air so when the road is become more hot so here the air the air is present at here so that is having density is less air density is less and the just above it here air density little more than the below the case the air density is different on the blue surface is the cold air air density is more so this point you need to understand very carefully so finally i can say that due to because of the hot summer the air in the atmosphere having different temperatures in different layers layer 1 down just above just above just above like that and different layers having different densities of air so finally i can say here density is more more density and here less density and here very less density now now because of this now if you can include our concept of refraction when light is traveling from denser to rarer now here the the blue color cool air is having more density and the red color hot air is having less density what happens light light starts to bend here light is refract so because of the different densities which are present at that particular situation so whatever the object which is near by us so their object reflections will be formed on the road like water it's like water so this is only we call mirage this is called as mirage so this is happening due to because of refraction we can say this is due to because of atmospheric refraction also but here we can say that in terms of refractions so finally if you can conclude that by saying so like this water like water like certain things if you can notice in particularly in hot summer season or in the deserts so that is due to because of refraction so the same concept if you can apply that is atmospheric refraction so now this atmospheric refraction affects sunset and sunrise first let me explain what is presented here now this is our earth so till at here we are having atmosphere till this blue region 
so now this atmosphere occupied several hundred kilometers from the earth's surface to above and we know that from the surface to above if we go the density of air goes to decreases density of air is decreases from the earth surface to if we can move in the upside of the atmosphere different regions are divided that different regions are having different air densities so that is a very key point at here now because of that different air densities causes the refraction of light when light is coming from sun so it has to pass all through this atmosphere so it will cross all this atmosphere and finally it reaches to us which is observer which is located on the earth so due to because of this atmosphere the light is bent so it it is bending we know that because when light is traveling from one density to another density like that it will starts to it will bend that is the property of that ones now because of that we can able to see sunset after setting also it means to explain that properly suppose if i draw a line at here so this is known as horizon what that line means that line means suppose horizon is a particular location where the sky and earth appears to touch each other it's not perfect lo location it is just for understanding purpose we can take where the surface of the earth and sky it is appears to touch each other usually when we say that sunset when sun is when below the horizon we say that sunset happens similarly when the sun is above the horizon we can say that it is sun rays now due to because of this atmospheric refraction what happens we can able to see sun after the sunset also why because light rays from the sun are bent as they passes into the atmosphere it is a gradual bend because the light passes through different layers of atmosphere and each layer and each layer is having different slightly different refractive index so because of that different layers are having different refractive index now when light is traveling from one layer to another layer it's supposed to bend that's its property that is due to because of refraction so finally you can say that the sun is seen to the above horizon even after it has fallen below it now here the sun is already set it is already below the horizon it's already below the horizon but still we can able to see sun why because the light rays are appears to come so due to because of atmospheric refraction the same mechanism also happens in the sun rays also we can see sun before it rises when we can see sunrise the sun has to come above the horizon so when it comes above the horizon then only we can say that sun rises but due to because of the atmospheric refractions we see early sunrise and early sunset that is due to because of atmospheric refraction 
so let's see one more same like that applications of atmospheric diffraction it is twinkling of stars twinkling what is the meaning of twinkling stars are up they appear to twinkle if you can say twinkle means exactly like this so they are not just like planet so they is to appear to twinkling just like a, a disco light on off on off like that that is due to because of atmospheric diffractions so the twinkling of stars why do they appear to twinkle now here you can see this is our earth and this is different atmospheres layers so the colors if you can identify they are having different shades of the colors that indicates that they are having different densities so when light is coming all the way from star it is entering into the atmosphere and finally it is reaching to our eye so during this course during this time what happens light is entering in different mediums now all these are having different refractive index so here you can see so this is entering in different mediums and they are having different refractive index and finally it is reaches to appears and we know that when light is travels from one medium to another medium what happens due to because of this refraction it is bends it bends so when it bends due to because of that the apparent position change in positions that will takes place so due to because of that reason the stars they are appears to twinkle usually they do not twinkle at all but they appears to twinkle so these all are the examples for the refraction so these two specially when we discussed about the early sunrise and early sunset so these two are the known as atmospheric refraction twinkling of stars and early sunrise and early sunset these two known as special category is known as atmospheric refractions and these two examples are very very important try to get it properly so this phenomenons happens only due to because of the refraction of light so finally i can conclude by saying that we can able to see sunset after setting also due to because of atmospheric refraction and we can see sunrise before sunrise the time gap 2 minutes so finally i can make a statement we can see sunset 2 minutes after sun setting and we can see sunrise before 2 minutes when it rises above the horizon so that is due to because of atmospheric refraction and one more at here stars are appears to twinkle due to because of atmospheric refractions because when light is traveling in different density layers in the atmosphere so it bends so that's the reason due to because of atmospheric refraction stars appears to twinkle so in the next concept we will see some other atmospheric phenomenons